Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering Honey Badger. She made her first appearance in All New Wolverine issue number 2 in January of 2016. Now her real name is Gabrielle Kinney, aka Gabby, also going by the designation X23 4 GAB. Now she could be considered the youngest clone of Wolverine, being a clone herself of Laura Kinney, X-23, who happens to be a clone of the original Wolverine, Logan. Honey Badger stands 4 feet 6 inches tall, weighs less than 100 pounds, and has green eyes and black hair. Also having one retractable bone claw on each of her hands, as well as facial scarring, which her and the rest of her sisters seem to have. As a result of nanite machines that were put in her system, she's unable to feel pain. And although it can be assumed that these nanites are what kept the healing factor in her sisters suppressed, she's the only one of them that retains a discernible healing factor, as well as retaining superhuman senses, these having the trademark acuity that's similar to that of an animal. And although she's very young, she has a tremendous amount of training as an assassin and bodyguard, being equipped with state-of-the-art body armor and weaponry, most often being seen with a pair of MAC-10 automatic pistols. But one glaring weakness that she had, which she shares with her other sisters, is the nanites in her system greatly reduced her lifespan. These microscopic machines in her system were basically killing her. Now Gabrielle started out as one of at least 10 clones of X-23 Wolverine. And like I stated earlier, she was the youngest of her sisters, created by a company named Alchemax Genetics. The program that created them was overseen by an individual named Robert Chandler, with security of the project headed up by Captain Mooney. The project's focus was to create beings that could be trained and serve as bodyguards for humanitarian missions and other high-end purposes. And although she and her sisters were treated abusively by the individuals at Alchemax, particularly Captain Mooney, Gabby was mostly sheltered from the worst of the abuse by her sisters. Due to this, she ended up escaping with most of her innocence intact at times being naive, but also having a tendency to be very honest and frank. As she and her sisters went on missions, she was the baby of the crew, but also was very effective. But when six of her sisters ended up being taken out on missions, she and three others named Zelda, Bologna, and X-23 3PAR escaped with the help of one named Kimura, who also later equipped them and sent them on a mission to Alchemax for revenge. She and her sisters then went on a full-fledged campaign against Alchemax Genetics going after key personnel in the organization. But Gabby quickly became unhappy with her sister's extreme tactics. So when her sister 3PAR went to Paris to take out Chandler's son, Gabby sent a secret note to tip off X-23 of the coming attempt. This led to X-23 stopping the hit, but 3PAR took herself out rather than be captured. During the fallout from this, Gabby approached Laura about the situation, confronting her about her sister's death, as well as admitting that she was the one who sent her the note. After this tense exchange in Laura's apartment, Gabby set a fire as a distraction and fled back to the sewers where the rest of her sisters were hiding. From here, Laura, aka X-23, followed her, and although Gabby tried to stop it, her sister Bologna shot Laura four times in the chest to incapacitate her. But Laura herself was actually being secretly followed by Captain Mooney, and the sisters ended up using X-23's help against the Alchemax soldiers that had invaded their hideout. This engagement was ended though when Taskmaster arrived and shot the three remaining clones. Luckily, all three of them survived this though because of their body armor. X-23 then led them to Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum to try to get help with what was slowly killing them inside. Eventually, the nanites that were in Zelda's system were identified and located, and since they were unable to physically operate her at the time, this led to an adventure in Pym's laboratory, which involved the Ant-Man suit and the Wasp which theoretically could be used to directly eradicate the nanites from her system. But unfortunately, these actions led to a beacon being set off, and this led Captain Mooney to their location, where he then attacked them and was able to fatally wound Zelda before the rest of them could restrain him. Honey Badger's sisters and X-23 then made a plan to seek out and destroy Alchemax genetics for good. This campaign ended with the execution of Captain Mooney, although Bologna refused to let Gabby watch as he took him out. The two remaining sisters, Bologna and Gabby, then parted ways, despite Gabby's protests. And from there, Gabby quickly went and met up with X-23, who from that point forward almost acted as her guardian or big sister, and built an inseparable bond between the two. But this wasn't before Gabby revealed to her creator, Chandler, that she had developed something her other sisters had not, which is one natural bone claw, which she decided to extend and scar his face for a memory instead of killing him. Now. 
Due to her powers and abilities, and her influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Honey Badger a rating of 5, which is an enigmatic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.